frustration is probably the best description of the Iowa post-game mood. The Hawkeyes had their chances in this game, but fell short to Wisconsin 26-24. to Instead of playing for a shot at the Big Ten Championship, only the Heroes Trophy is on the line this Friday. We got guys, you know, fighting their tails off, and, you know, it just came up short. It's very tough. It, I mean, it hurts, and it's a tough one to swallow. And be, I feel like it'll be even worse when we watch the film tomorrow. It's not often you let a running back rush for 200 yards and consider it job well done, but the Hawkeye defense did a pretty good job of bottling up Wisconsin star tailback Melvin Gordon. He had 264 total yards and two touchdowns, but Iowa's defense kept him in check most of the game. You know, he's got that uh, explosion, that capability, and that's what makes it uh, so challenging to try to defend a team with a player like that. And, and credit to them for sticking with it. You know, they never they don't get away from their plan, uh, and they're good at that. And uh, but I thought our guys competed extremely hard. Just you know, came up a couple plays short today. An offense that was non-existent for two and a half quarters came to life midway through the third quarter here at Kinnick Stadium. Jake Rudolph finished with over 300 yards passing. But Iowa was just in too deep of a hole. And there was times in the first half we moved the ball really well, and then uh, you know we kind of shot ourselves in the foot first, second down, made it tough, manageable, and uh, yeah, and then also being able to move the ball, get points, obviously you know boost guys' confidence a little bit. Yeah, we lost. There's nothing good about that, you know, and it's that's not in the books. But you know how you play is important, and that's uh, it'll cliche about win or lose. You know that, that's a bunch of crap. You know winning is is what you work so hard for. But how you do play is important, whether you win or lose. And that's, you know, as coaches, we always look at it that way. So we'll see a lot of good things tomorrow on that tape. It's a short week for Kirk Ferentz's team. Nebraska comes calling with the Heroes Trophy on the line Friday morning at 11 a.m. right here in Iowa City. At Kinnick Stadium, I'm Andy Garman, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.